Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing pigment nail and this will be a step-by-step -step video. So let's go ahead and get started with a base coat. You can use your favorite base coat. I'm using a metal beauty and I will place a thin layer of the base coat in all of my tips and I'm using square medium size tips. It's one of my favorites. And I'm gonna go over with the base coat and I'm gonna cure in lamp for about 30 seconds because this base coat um, cure for 30 seconds. So that's good, it's something about the gel polishes from the same brand. The base coat will help the gel polish to adhere better. And now I'm using the Eye Metal Beauty uh, 102 white color. And with this white color, I'm gonna go ahead and do only one coat on all of my nails. This uh, gel polish, it is very pigmented, and you guys know you guys can use the code Aslin Word if you wanna save some money, if you buy uh, the kit or any product from Eye Metal Beauty, you can use my code. And don't worry if you see that I go out of the nail tip and I touch my skin with the gel polish because we will clean that up before we put it in the lamp. So that way it can look nice and clean. And if you do have some left after you cure it in the lamp, you can file it off with a buffer and it will come out very easy. So I will do all of the nails in white and I will only do one coat on all of my nails, okay? So the next step is I'm gonna show you guys the pigment that I will be using. These pigments, I purchased them a while back on amazon.com guys they are very cheap very cheap it depends where you buy them like if you can go on these uh websites like aliexpress wish.com uh, shing.com you can see them very cheap once you cure the white gel polish we're going to put a base coat and we're going to cure in lamp only for 10 seconds i don't know why it didn't show it on the video probably i didn't record that part but you only cure for 10 seconds the base coat that you put on top of the white. Why? Because that's the only way these pigments are gonna stick to the nail. And I'm using a elf brush. Uh, it is a blending brush to put the, the yellow one. But I don't know if you guys can see, like in the napkin, you can see that the hairs of the brush are coming out and they are sticking to the nail. And I didn't like that, so you guys will see me changing the brush. So my tip in this part is the following. If you're gonna put the same pigment, uh, yellow pigment, in all of the nails, go ahead and do all of the nails. Um, then if you're gonna do another color and you're gonna put the same color, go ahead and do all the nails, okay? You can position the pigments different area of the nail so that way all of them don't look like similar. Like you can put the yellow on top at the bottom halfway like I did on these nails. And then once you're done, then you will go ahead and pretty much move the brush around the napkin to take the pigment out. And then you will go into your another pigment. If you don't clean the brush before putting the other pigment, then you will have a mix of pigments. And here you can see how the hair from the brushes are starting to fall out. So I had to change the brush because of that. It was driving me crazy here. I'm just pulling the hair from the brush. You guys can see the hair from the brush in the napkin. It, it was horrible. But anyway, so to give you another tip, um, make sure that you use a good quality brush. Like if you, if you do your makeup, make sure you have a good quality brush to do this as well. Um, it is very important that you clean the brush in the napkin before going into the next uh, pigment. Now, it is messy, I'm not gonna lie. You will see other pigment in my fingers, all over the napkin, but it's fine. And here I go with a beautiful pink pigment. And these pigments are amazing. I think they will be great for acrylics. And remember, you can, um, if you have a white or clear acrylic, you can mix these pigments with acrylic in a small container and you can make your own acrylic powder in these beautiful colors. Um, so that's another thing you can do with pigments. Now, if you want to do this and you don't have pigments, guess what? You can use eyeshadows, you can do brush uh, blushes, bronzers, 
because it's the kind of like the same thing. So you can also do that. If you have very um, bright eyeshadows that you don't use, you can definitely use uh, use them for, for this too as well. Or for acrylics, as long as you um, mix them well, you can always do that. So I really like these pigments. They are very shiny, very neon color, very bright, as I might say. So here I'm adding the purple color. And I will also, what I'm trying to do is covering all the white. And why did I put a white gel polish? Is because I heard that you need a base color at the bottom. So that way the pigments will look better. So that's why I decided to put white. White is always good. It always bring, uh, makes the color be, look brighter than what they are. So this is what I will continue to do. I will continue putting the pigments on the nail and they are adhering very, very well because of the stickiness of the base coat, okay? So here I'm adding the last touches with the pigment. Once I've done, guys, I will put my hand just like this with all of this mess in the lamp for 60 seconds. So the base coat that is underneath the pigments can cure very good. You can put it for two minutes, but my lamp is really good, so I just put it for a minute. And then you can go ahead and remove the, the all the excess that you have from the pigment. You can brush it out just like that. And it's not going to come out because the lamp cured the base coat and the pigment was attached to the base coat, right? So it's perfect. It's safe to do to do uh, use the brush. So now we have to secure the pigment, right? So the best thing to use is a base coat. So I will go with the base coat over the pigment. And don't worry, my brush is not going to get particles from the pigments is not going to get that powder inside the bottle of the base coat or anything like that because when I removed the extra dust with the brush, it took all of that away. You can also use a free length white and also clean the nails. It's not going to make that pigment go away, okay? So I'm doing a thin layer of base coat in all of the nails. And then I will cure this for 60 seconds on my lamp, okay? This will double secure the pigments and it will keep them really, really nice and shiny. Once I'm done, this is how it looks, guys. So I will go ahead and put some alcohol with a little bit of water and clean with a free length wipe. And this is the time that you wanna take advantage and clean the whole nails under the nails, on the side of the nails, in the cuticle area, anywhere where you may have dust from the pigment, this is your time to clean all of that mess, okay? Make sure you clean everything. What happened, I don't know if you guys can see, but, but as I'm cleaning, you guys may see that some white is showing off. Uh, maybe because the alcohol took away some of the pigment, so you will see that in some of the nails, some white is showing up, but that's fine. There's no issue with that. You know why? Because you can grab one of your gel polishes in neon and cover those little white spots. Very easy. Because I don't want to add more pigment because I already have cleaned the nails. So the next thing is I'm using what is called spider gel or weaver gel. Pretty much it's some type of gel that it's kind of like elastic that it will allow you to do these beautiful lines like this and i purchased this in amazon no on ebay yes i purchased this on ebay and it was a pack of like 10 i think and it was very very cheap 
here I did a little mistake as you guys can see I did that line a little bit thicker and you see that um, black bubble in the middle of the nail it shouldn't be like really thin like the other one but hey that's fine I decided to leave it there I guess I didn't realize it and then to cover that white part on the nail tip I will go in all over with the weaver gel just to cover that white part and I love this weaver gel from eBay. It was very affordable because I know some websites sell these uh, spider gels really expensive, but this was really affordable. And I had, and it came with like 10 of them, different color, like red, blue, white. So I'm gonna continue uh, placing the weaver gel. And now we're going to be using this holographic uh, butterfly sticker. And I'm just trying to look and see what looks better on the nail. Um, I, I decided to go ahead and go with the small ones because um, it was better for the design, um, including in the areas where the pigments are not that dark. So that's where I will be placing the butterfly just in the area where the pigments are not dark so pretty much in the area of the yellow pigment or the green pigment that's where i will be placing the butterflies So now I'm going to go ahead and cover the white part that it are driving me crazy. <laughs> so I'm using a very neon uh, color like this one here. And I'm going to use just a little bit, guys. And with a liner brush, I will go over and cover the white parts. Why I don't add more pigments? Because at this point, the nails are clean. The nails are looking beautiful. The nails have the weaver gel, so I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna do that, okay? So I cured in them for 60 seconds just to cure that spider gel, just to cure that extra gel polish, and to finish these beautiful pigment nails. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a top coat from I Made of Beauty, and I'm gonna put the top coat in all of my nails. Then look how beautiful this look ends up looking. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this look? Have you guys used pigment before? Have you guys used eyeshadows before to do nails? Let me know in the comment section. I will be reading you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the good nail videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook. I will put all the links in the description box. All the information will be there, okay? So if you're a new subscriber, hi, welcome. This is a channel where you will not get bored, and I always uh, try to put videos that are created, videos that sometimes you guys request, or I don't know, I try to do something different every time I post a video, okay? So if you have guys have any questions about the product I use on this video, let me know in the comments. Remember, you guys can visit my blog for more pictures of this tutorial as well as previous um, videos that I have posted. If you want to see more picture, more in close and stuff like that, they will be on my website. I will link that in the description box, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy the day, enjoy the video. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.